So, Dr. Sheeter, Dr. Larson have undocked. Now it's going to tell us what we're going to do. So, from here, we are going to remove vision probe from the top. So this um, neck, the collar, just twists off. We're going to take this out, and this may very well be in the bag, um, just depending on if he biopsied last or, or what have you. And then this bag slides right off. Obviously, that's going to get tossed. This piece is our adapter, which has a saline or air flush on it to clean the camera. This is going to get tossed. Vision probe is reprocessing. So um, five lives on this guy, um, high level disinfectant, non-sterile. So that will go to reprocessing. Next. I'm sorry, five lives? Five lives. Does that mean five, 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 five uses, yep. And right here, it's gonna show you your accessory status. Um, so you'll be able to track it. Um, if you put on an expired catheter, vision probe, or guide, it will mm -hmm. tell you. No big deal, just can't use it. It will be just played up. Exactly. Yep, it would give you a beep, 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 and say, this is expired. It won't let us use it. Won't let you use it. Catheter, release buttons right here. Also five lines. And then this piece pinches off right here. So these little, mm -hmm. little tan buttons. Um, after that, once this vision pro and catheter are sent to reprocessing, all the others, including swivel connector, they get tossed. Um, this is a toss. Right? That's a toss, I know. It's beautiful. It pains me every time. Um, basically, from here, what you're going to do is exactly what it says. So, remove ball, remove scroll wheel. Oh. You're going to wipe these guys down, wipe inside their housing, let it dry, and put them back in. You can use this magnet to remove them as well. Just easier if you have gloves on or something like that. Um, arm is already extended, but if it was not, you would just extend its entirety, wipe everything down. Once that is done, you will swipe. Um, and then from here, you would go ahead and collapse the system with this arm that is really giving me trouble today. There we are. And then this, we are fully, fully, fully extended. Um, I always say put it to sleep over itself, so this will come in as well. We will collapse here, and then you'll hold down one, two, three, and the system will shut off. I won't do that right now because it takes about three to five minutes to boot back up. And you mean power right here? <laughs> Correct. Sort of one, two, three power. Correct. Okay. Yep. And you, you'll um, you'll you'll know. <laughs> it's very easy to see. Um, but that is basically the tear down piece of it. Um, does anyone have any questions on that? Does the okay. unit need to be plugged in at all times? Yes. So starting from the beginning. Um, it has about a 10 minute battery life. So even when it's off and resting, just make sure it is plugged in. Um, before you turn the system on, this controller is gonna be plugged in here. It has that same um, collar on it, so it will twist. You'll know it's in. Um, you'll wanna make sure that that is plugged in before you turn it on. If you turn it on and it's not plugged in, wait for it to boot up, turn it off, plug it in and turn it back on. Um, it'll let you know if you made a mistake. But once that has occurred, it's gonna prompt you to move the arm. Start new procedure. So from the beginning, again, 